¿Qué fue? Uh, bueno, señora. Hola, es bien sabroso. Buen, hola, señor. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. You are an American, are you not? Last time I checked. Oh, thank God, sir. Thank God. I have had it up to here with Dagos, up to here. Uh, savages. Mm, well, I do what I can to help. But this land was imagined by an angry god for an angry people. <laughs> Well, America ain't exactly a peaceful paradise, mister. Well, I, mean, I tried, but well, at least you lot try to speak bloody English. Uh, this bloody lot. My God, if I'd wanted to speak Spanish, I'd have gone to Spain. Why didn't you? Uh, good question. Well, you know, business, I suppose. <laughs> Devil making work for idle hands, what? <laughs> now, uh, now, listen, friend. If you were to go west to Nosalida, I'd give you a reward for picking up a package of mine from the docks. Hmm? There's, there's some fighting broken out there. Uh, it seems like it's more your kind of thing. Why would I want to do something like that? <laughs> oh, you Americans are all the same, obsessed with bloody money. Well, I will pay you, sir. I will give you a buck. Name's Tollitz, sir. Uriah Tollitz. They'll know of me in no Salida. How much? Plenty, sir. Plenty. Uh, now you will take it and give it to the foreman of the estate at El Matadoro. He'll be expecting it. <laughs> Try to give those dagos hell. What? <laughs> oh, that's a fine fellow. There we go.
There you are. Sorry, partner. Beauty. What's that? 
you, man. I'm sorry about this, mister. Soon una persona de gran fama. Mateo Pisante. Pisándome. Pichardo! I don't wish to bother you, but I was just robado. Come on! Hola. Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh. Señor, keep this as your recompensa. Busco una buena noche. 
Very good, senor. Trato hecho. Muy bien. Buenísimos días, Marco Pichardo, a sus órdenes. Hello, friend. Cualquier problema, se lo resuelvo a la orden. Muy bien, gracias por sus negocios. Fantástico, gracias por sus negocios. Excelente, un placer hacer negocios contigo. Muy buenos días. Hola, bienvenido. Bien, bienvenido. That's good, thank you. ¿Qué tal? Que tenga usted un día fantástico. ¿A usted le gusta la cerveza? ¿Barrigo? ¿Te describo quizás? ¿Cómo está?
Don't stay out too late, miss. Buenos dias. Give me my scallop shell for quiet, my stout faith in war on In times of darkness. Excuse me, sister. Yes, sir. Can I help you? I was looking for a girl by the name of Eva, I think. Wanted to see if she was doing okay. Are you one of her special friends? No, I just helped her. Oh. She said she was coming in here. Oh, she came and she went. A man came for her. Turned out Maybe he was her calling, after all? Okay. Thank you, sister. Oh, I think they said they were going to El Sepulcro. But who knows? She wasn't much of one for the truth. So you're still here. Is there something else you need? Forgive me, Lord. The lamb hath lain down with the lion. Twice now, for shame. Our Father, who art a heathen, bell be thy name, unheard as it is.
What are you doing, amigo? Nothing. Why'd you kill her? I didn't kill her. I wouldn't do a thing like that. Sure, I'd hit her, but Why'd I... you kill her? And why are you digging her up? And what business is it of yours, huh? Oh. You still want to lay with her? Huh? You sold her. You let her go. No, no, no. A good whore never leaves, man. Do I get my money back now or after I've killed you? She was just a god dang whore, man. A god dang filthy whore. As you say, she was just a whore. Inche. Now come on. Come on!
¡Excelente! General, he will want to thank you personally. <laughs> Gracias, you're a friend to Mexico. Here's a little money, a sign of my gratitude. Now we must leave.
Come on! Can I help you, sir? Are you the foreman, mister? I got a package for you from a Mr. Tollitz. Oh, thank you so much, my friend. What was the delay? Trouble over in Nasalita. Army or rebels? <laughs> Politics, my friend, is for fools. Which is why we see so much of it down here. Land of morons. Gets in the way of real work? If you say so. Here's the money for Mr. Tollitz. I'll get this to the workers right away. That's quite a sum. <laughs> Must be valuable stuff. You have no idea, gringo. No idea. If you would have known, you would have kept it all yourself. Mr. Tollitz, I've got your money. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. I damn well knew you were the kind of chap to be trusted. A fine fellow, sir. Fine fellow indeed. Unlikely to run off and report me to the authorities. What? <laughs> report what, Tollitz? Well, the Dagos here don't appreciate the terrible needs we answer. Well, building a country's hard, sir. It's hard. I opium's nasty business, but it's necessary. Necessary. Opium? What do you mean you didn't even sneak a taste of that package? <laughs> Are you mad, sir? That's fine stuff. Straight from Ongo Bongo land uh, somewhere. <laughs> you use me. Are you a moralist or just a fool? Both, I guess. We provide a much-needed service for the railroad workers. We help ease the pain and loneliness. Them beings are far away from home and all that. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with this. I've smoked it myself for years. Here. I don't want nothing to do with it. Well, I thank you. Here's hoping we can do business again in the future. Beats dealing with the bloody savages. Is there something else I can do for you? Or be off then. You're making the place look untidy. If I'm not mistaken, our business is done here.
Your milestone! Good news, good news. The Coronel himself wants to speak to you. Come. Dámelo! Dámelo! Besito! Besito! Don't be so conventional! Ah, look at that ass, huh? Magnificent. I'll save her for later. Or I'll kill her and all her family. They're probably rebels anyway, huh? Anyways, it's good to see you, amigo. Good to see you. You know, you are a rare find. A gringo who is also a friend of our country. Bienvenido. We welcome you. Okay. Bad, relax, relax. I have some wonderful news for you. Quite wonderful, in fact. You know the men you hunt? They have been captured in Chupa Rosa. I want you and De Santa to ride out there, and then you can take possession of them. It is my gift to you. For all your help, senor. Although part of me wishes that you would remain here and enjoy more of our hospitality, huh? <laughs> Thank you. If it's all the same, I'd like to collect the men. I have a wife and son at home whom I miss. Ah, don't we all, amigo? Don't we all? <laughs> the Santa, I want you to take care of Senor Marston. Vámonos, cabrón. Go! Adelante! <laughs> Mi amor! Mi amor! <laughs> Come, my friend. It is time to bring this man to justice. We have a long ride ahead of us. This is very good news, my friend. And I say the Colonel will find this bank for you. For your sake, you best be telling the truth. You have my word. After that trick you pulled on me with the munitions train, I ain't sure that means very much. You have Espinosa to blame for that. Come now, John. After everything we've been through, I think we can trust each other, don't you? How did you find them? They were captured just outside to Barossa. The rat must come out of his hole eventually. And being held in the church, a chance for them to contemplate heaven. Before you send them to hell, we have the area surrounded. Oh, cheer up, John. This is what you came for. You are so tense all the time. Come, let's have some fun. A little competition with my soldiers to see who's the best shot. What do you say? Anything better than talking to you. Ah, excelente. Okay, each man gets five shots at the local wildlife. Whoever kills the most, I will give twenty-five dollars. Alitos, come primero. No tienes ninguna posibilidad. Soy el mejor tirador en todo Nuevo Paraíso. You never did tell me why you're hunting these animals. I guess it beats getting a real job. You know, if you were less secretive, people might be more inclined to cross you. Are you married? Or do you rape young girls like a cur? No, I could never touch a woman like that. It's not my way. Then, it's an honor to please the leader. My wife and child have been taken from me. That's why I have to find these men. I can sympathize with you, Senor Barston. I am married to my country. And these rebel traitors, they're trying to take it from me. No, I never took a wife. A woman can be a powerful force. Like my mother. Or a destructive one. Like my mother. I find it better to avoid them. So when these strong men become weak, by giving them to temptations of the flesh.
Okay, let's go again. Galizales, it's your turn. Estoy listo, Capitán. That fool nearly shot. So this means your family Mason is coming to an end. I hope so. You know, I will be sad to see you leave. No, you won't. There's not many people. Black Coronel Allende was able to offer you the script in return. I haven't seen him anywhere near a fight yet. He's the military commander, but he also governs the province. He must be protected, kept out of harm's way. Abraham Reyes, the rebel leader? I hear he rides with his men. And how would you know that? Reyes is a coward. Blinded by love for himself, all he does is write songs and poems about winning battles he's never fought in. Do we have one more? Molinas, sing us too! I can shoot the wings of a fly, senor! See? Isn't this fun? Don't you feel more relaxed? Sure. Whatever you say. Well, when you have winning song in a square. I believe it when I see it. A man have to completely surround. There's nothing to worry about. I promise. Like the 20,000 pesos you promised when you sent me on a suicide mission with Espinosa? Yes. It has been a busy time for you here in Mexico. What do you mean? I mean, you have built quite a reputation for yourself. Just following orders, Captain. So many stories of your brave exploits. Your actions will not be forgotten, compadre. Here we are. Go, my friend. We're in the church. Now worry. Right behind you. Very reassuring. This is it. A moment of truth. Why are they in the church? It is a good place, as any, to judge a man. Wouldn't you say? Are they armed? No, they're prisoners. They got deep breaths. Calm yourself. They will be like lambs to the slaughter. Gracias for your service to this land. Levanten esta pizza mierda. Levántenlo. Marston. Hey. Marston. You have betrayed this land enough. I hope you have a clear conscience, because you're about to meet God. <laughs> My brother, they will kill you if we don't get your ropes off. Over here, I will free you. Find your way to the fight, you dogs! 
of this evil regime are numbered. Soon, we shall be free, living together in a noble republic, justly ruled by fine men. But, 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 el trabajo, the job is not done. Our struggle is not over. We will fight all day and night. Until local tyrants like Allende are no more. And him and all his dogs are brought to the sword. We shall be free. This time things shall be different for every man and woman in this land. And, and one day, and one day soon, Again, they will know justice. My brothers, fight on! In our hearts, we are all free. Let us make it so. Viva la revolución! Viva Mexico! 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 Stay close to the perro and his entrenador. Any problems? Call me. Stay close to the dog, amigo, as you were instructed. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
What do you hear? Bueno, señora. Ay, cómo me disfrutaría con ese cuerpo. Muchas gracias. Can I borrow this, friend? I hear your reputation, but you're not rapido like me. Find out, okay? Sounds like fun. Come on! I wish to do where everyone see me kill you! Que no?
Eh, señor. You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Antelas. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Muévese, cabrón. Muévese. El mundo es muy difícil. Hmm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Uh -huh. Ah, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston, my father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Louisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can. But I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns, and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family, just the cause. Please, good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you, out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Let's go. We do not have much time to prepare the ambush. in pain. Now we shall fight even harder to win power for Abraham. I admire your devotion. He is a true revolutionary. A man who puts the needs of others before his own. A man who fights out of love rather than hate. But you know this already. I heard about the battle at Chupa Rosa. How he killed nearly a hundred soldiers to save your life. It'll go down in legend. I'm sure of that. Can I trust you, Mr. Marston? In what way? You have done so much for me and my family. But I still can't forgive you for helping Allende, for what you did to the rebels. I'm here for two men, that's it. Not to take sides. And certainly not to fight a war that isn't mine. It makes no sense. You make a choice by not making a choice, you know. Allende betrayed me. I saw him do bad things. Things that disgust even me. Allende is pura maldad. One day I will cut his heart out. But me, you, him, we're all shooting people. Don't really seem like we're so very different. The difference is why, Mr. Marston. The ideals we hold, there can never be revolution without blood. Until people forget what they're shooting for, and just enjoy killing for its own sake. You Americans forget too quickly. That is the problem. If it wasn't for your revolution, you would still be making tea for the English. At least we knew where we stood. It's more difficult to understand why your own people treat you like shit. It is the same here. We fought off the Spanish. We fought off the French. We even fought off the Americans. Finally, Mexico won its independence. And all we've done since then is fight each other. At least you're keeping up tradition. It will end when Abraham takes control. When the Spanish left, we renamed this province Nuevo Paraíso. New Paradise. One day, it will live up to its name. Why do 
new Delta revolution so much, Mr. Marston. I guess I can't pretend to understand your country's politics. But you think we are fighting for nothing? Take no notice of me. I ain't got much faith in power just now. That is exactly why we must continue to fight for change. Nothing ever really changes. You are a man who has lost his spirit. No doubt. I once believed it was possible to make a difference. The men I'm chasing, they did too. That if we spilled enough blood, we could change the way people think. Revolutions are always won with blood. And after the fighting's done? Free them. We ain't never free. Be honest with yourself, and you will be free. That must be what I've been getting wrong all these years. Thank you again for helping my mother and Miranda to escape. If only I'd sent my father as well. You did everything you could. They know nothing of my father's death. I feel terrible, but it isn't safe for them here anymore. After we win, they can return to a new Mexico. What about you? I will stay and fight. I am ready to die if necessary. Emilio too. We are a close family. Do you have children, Mr. Marston? I have a son at home and a daughter in heaven. Is he looking after your wife? I hope so. He's not much younger than you, but I don't know. He's still young. We tried to protect him, give him a gentler childhood than what we had. Stop that! You have killed enough of my people! Yes, I failed at that. What is his name? Jack. Jack Marston. It is not far now. The army convoy will be coming from the east. We going to steal their supplies? No. Destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. You have experience with explosives? A little. It's been a long time. Good. Because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. There they are. These men will help you rig dynamite on the road. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay. Follow me, gentlemen. And here! Are you sure you want them so close to each other? Here's good! And the last one here! Go meet Luis at the detonator, he will handle the rest! I'm glad you are here to help us. They are coming. Get ready, John. These are supplies to be used against my people. They must be destroyed. Look, they are coming.
them. That will not be necessary. Put the gun down. That convoy is destroyed. Thank you, Mr. Marston. We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. <laughs>